All right, we're doing a Pentair Superflow VST. I'm going to teach you how to program it today. Also look at the BioShield and a ozone system, how they all work together. Um, this is a step down from the Pentair VSF. Um, you get a lower warranty. It is cheaper, save you some money, but it's not as good of warranty and it doesn't have as good of features. So unless you're trying to save money and you can't afford the other, I highly do not recommend this. So first off, programming this, you want to hold down the display until it is blinking here. You can pick 12 hour or 24. We're gonna pick 12 hour and then we're gonna set it. And then we're gonna pick our time of day. It is 1.25 p.m. So now we have our time of day set. All right, and now we're going to Hold this down again. Um, I want to move up to. Now we're going to go into setting our, our speeds, okay? So I want this one on my first speed at high speed. I'm going to go all the way up to the 3450. You can choose whatever you want. This is um, one and a half horsepower pump. I'm going to use all of it. You can do whatever you want there. And then you hit the one again and choose how many hours you want it to run. I only want my first, what time do you want it to start? So on this one, you don't do a start and stop. You pick what time you want it to start and then how many hours. So I'm going to start it at 9 p.m. You can just hold it down and scroll through. All right, and then you're gonna tell it how many hours I want it, four hours. Then you go to two. Now I'm gonna pick my low speed setting. I want my low speed at 1200 RPMs. Um, again, it's a really low motor, so my 1200 is lower on this one than it is on some others. Now I'm gonna pick how many hours. I'm gonna pick eight hours on this. Then on my three, I'm actually not going to use three, so I really don't care what I put here unless I just want the customer to use it for whatever, but I'm going to just put it at 1,200 as well. Whatever, because I'm not using that one. And then the quick clean, I'm also going to do a 3450 and I'm gonna do a one hour. So now we're all set there. So now it's set and I can start my quick clean to run for one hour. So now that we've set our pump here, um, I wanna show you a little bit on here. I'm gonna set all of these and put labels on them, tell everything what it is. But because there's no automation on this, we're gonna set our timers on here for the ozone and the UV. So when this is on, the green light should come on to tell you the ozone's on. And for this guy, you should have a purple light. So during the day in Arizona, it's really hard to see in here. You've got to cover it up and really like peek in there to see the purple light. So you want to check every once in a while. They should last quite a bit but when the bulbs go out, the green light or the purple light should go out and you know you need to change the bulb. But because there's no automation, your power is connected to this. So you need to do your on-off timers. You, you set the time of this. Remember, we started at 9 p.m., so we need to set this here. You pull it out and turn it to 9 p.m. You put your, right now we're at 125. So we set this to 125, but we put our on here at 9 p.m. and our off here at 9 a.m. because we had it set for 12 hours. So that will make the ozone and UV come on the motor comes on by itself. If you have automation, you don't need to, to set that because it's all connected. But because there's no automation, you have to have a separate timer and time clock. So always make sure if you change your timers on the motor that you also change it on the time box. Otherwise, your UV and ozone will be ineffective without the water moving so i hope you enjoyed the, the video and uh watch more learn more about our company thanks have a great day